Does your dog lunge at other dogs either out of excitement or aggression? Either way, we train this the same exact way and I'm gonna go over step by step exactly how to do this, so stay tuned. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I put out a new video every Wednesday. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I've dog sat and trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies, and I love sharing my advice with all of you. What if you could get your dog to walk calmly on a leash and sit and look at you quietly every time a dog walks by? Well, it is possible, and I'm gonna go over exactly how to do this in three easy steps. Now I say that it's easy because it is easy, but it's up to you to stay consistent and dedicate the time to do some training every day. A quick note before we begin. I use 100% positive reinforcement training, which is what science-based dog trainers use. I find it to be the most ethical. In positive reinforcement training, we teach our pup what we want them to do instead of the unfavorable behavior or what we don't want them to do. We positively reinforce the behavior we do want, and these three steps I'm gonna show you will teach your dog how to replace lunging with focusing on you instead. So let's get started. Step one is to practice the cue, watch me, inside with zero distractions. The most important thing that you're going to have to practice is getting your dog to focus on you. I actually made a whole video on how to do this, so if you're not sure how to train this, be sure to click right here for the watch me video. But essentially, you're just gonna grab a tasty treat, the second their eyes look at you, reward with a marker word, yes, and then give them a treat. Getting your dog to focus is the foundation of pretty much any training because if they're not focused on you, they're focused on something else and it's really hard to get their attention to give them any type of cue. So definitely make sure you have a rock solid watch me down before you move on. Step two is making a list of easy, moderate, and then extremely difficult situations for your pup to perform watch me. This is where you're basically creating a training plan for yourself. An example would be easy, inside the living room with no other people in the house, moderate, inside the bedroom when family is home, outside in our apartment courtyard, outside but with no dogs around. Difficult would be dog is down the block. Another example of difficult might be 10 feet away from the dog park. Really challenging would be dogs running up to my dog while we're walking or dog walking by really close while we're walking. Step three is to make this exercise gradually more and more challenging. You want to gradually, and let me emphasize, gradually move up to these more challenging situations. To use an example of something that humans can relate to, if you were to go skiing for the first time, you would try to ski on the bunny slope. Once you got the bunny slope down, you wouldn't be like, oh my God, let me go to the most challenging double black diamond and ski down that double black diamond. No, you would go to a gradually steeper and steeper slope. Now, same thing with dogs. You don't wanna go from practicing watch me inside to all of a sudden practicing watch me with a pack of dogs and a million squirrels running around. You want to gradually work up to those more challenging situations. This is also a good lesson for us humans, a lesson in patience. We don't need to move from point A to the end point immediately. We wanna slowly work up to that, so make sure you practice patience for yourself as well. Some other tips are to have really high quality treats on your walks that can help you get your dog's attention. Don't use carrot sticks or something really boring like a peanut butter treat. You wanna use their favorite, favorite treat. Now another tip, if you come across unintentionally challenging situation, for example, sometimes we can't control that our neighbor just let out their crazy dog off leash. What you wanna do is take a U-turn and quickly get out of that situation because your dog is not ready for that situation yet. If you put your dog in that challenging situation, you're basically setting them up to fail. Finally, it really depends on the dog how long this process will take. For some dogs, it only takes one month. For some dogs, it might take several months or even a year. But I promise, if you stay consistent, that your dog's leash reactivity will drastically improve. 
If you want more info after this video, don't worry, you can download my Solving Leash Reactivity Guide where you create your own personalized training plan for more relaxing walks. I have a bunch of more information in there plus an area to fill out your own personalized training plan where you rank from the easiest to most difficult situations where your dog can perform the cue, watch me, or focus. It's 100% free and the link to download is below, so grab yours right now. Also, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. It means a lot. And also leave a comment below letting me know what your biggest aha moment was. If you have any dog friends that could benefit from this video, make sure to share with them as well. If you're still feeling stuck after practicing Watch Me, I also have a Possum Parents Facebook group. It's free to join and it's a community of dog parents just like you who want the best for their four-legged BFF. I've included the link to that below. I answer all of your product and training questions there. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.